Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the Zizzy, Zizzy Show. show. Yes. yes. Welcome back to the Zizzy Show. It seems like we haven't been in this studio in like four weeks. I know. It's been so nice to just not see a road and not travel yeah, aren't for a second. Aren't you guys tired of seeing road trip videos? <laughs> you know, holla back, girl. <laughs> um, so we've been home for now, what, a week? Yeah, somewhat a week. Like, yeah. a, we've been home for, like, multiple days. In a row. Yeah, in a row. It was Without, like, a, like, leaving. Yes, yeah, this is the first yes. time. And then we're leaving tomorrow, so. Here we go. We're going to see Sam <laughs> Smith. Sam Smith, yes! Yeah. Oh, wait, well, you guys probably won't see this video until after we've been at Sam Smith, so disregard that. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, so Thursday. Mm-hmm. We went to see the Barbie movie. Girl, okay. I cried. We're not going to get into it quite yet, but we went to see the Barbie movie, and I have some serious beef, not with the Barbie movie. I have some serious beef with the movie theaters. Girl. Okay. We went on a Thursday at, what was it, 11.30 in mm-hmm. the afternoon on a Thursday. The movie has already been out for multiple weeks. We went on a Thursday matinee. Tickets were twelve fifty each. Only two of the theaters had the Barbie movie, so it's not like it was the biggest movie in the theater right now. Girl, twelve dollars and fifty cents for each ticket. Okay, guess how much we paid for one large popcorn and one large drink. Do you even know how much we paid? I'm pretty sure it was like eighteen twenty bucks. Eighteen dollars. For a large drink and a large popcorn. But, okay, but here's my thing. I feel like a lot of movie theaters are doing that in general. Like, candy, all the, like, literally, you said even the boneless wings were ch- The boneless were wings were cheaper. No, they weren't bone, they were bone-in wings. Oh. Were cheaper than a large popcorn and a large drink. Popcorn doesn't take anything to make. I know. And neither <laughs> does a fountain drink. That I have to serve myself. <laughs> okay, the make it worse, the popcorn wasn't even good. Girl, that popcorn was so okay. The first time we went, the first time we went there, it had no butter or no, it did have butter. It just had no salt. So all it was was oils. Like, granted, I love I love movie theater popcorn. When we used to live in Arizona, Harkins, Chef's Kiss, that popcorn always tasted busted consistent. That's what I love. But this popcorn had either no salt or so much salt. Oh, wait. Here's the kicker. Girl. Here's the kicker. We live in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We aren't in a big city. This is Marcus Theaters. Rogers Theaters, Marcus Theaters. Marcus Theater. Marcus. <laughs> I don't... Some Marcus man's, Jingleheimer Schmidt. Some man's theater. <laughs> okay. I, I know we're talking too loud. We're probably blowing out your ears. Okay. I'm heated. Okay. We are in the middle of fucking nowhere, bro. There is no reason a matinee ticket should be $12.50. And then I pay $18 for popcorn and it's shit. Okay? <laughs> I had to eat it because I was hungry. <laughs> but that's a different story. You were so, you were something else. I was not happy. Literally, when when they said the total for the popcorn, we sat down in the theater. He said, all that much? This popcorn tastes like shit. Bro, <laughs> there's no reason I'm paying over $40. Or for, it was $45 to go see mm-hmm. the Barbie movie, which I didn't even want to see. Our car was getting detailed. Anyways, we watched the Barbie movie. We watched the Barbie movie. I have thoughts yes. about it. I did not, like, not like it. And I didn't, not, I didn't like, love the movie. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, I was definitely entertained by the movie. Okay. Okay. Um... Well, how about this? Let's dissect it. Like, okay. Let's dissect okay. this okay. first. I act like I'm having hair. <laughs> wow, we've been wearing wig too much. Yeah. You've been wearing wig too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, what would you rate it? Like, let's start there, so that people can at least get a, like a like a perception of how you feel. Okay, I would definitely rate it like a seven point two. Okay, I'm really glad. If you would have said anything anything less than a seven, I probably would have dropped your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna say a seven point two because I did, there was no part of the movie that I didn't like. Okay. But I just wasn't invested enough into Barbie to be like, oh my gosh, this is the best. Like Barbie herself or the movie? Barbie as a brand. Okay. Like growing up, I wasn't like okay, I play with Barbie horses. But it didn't matter to me that they were Barbie. Mm -hmm. It mattered to me that they were a horse, right? I wasn't like, I haven't been invested in Mattel. Okay. As like the Mario movie. Okay. Okay. I played Mario growing up. So 
the you Mario were very like it's very nostalgic. It, to it was you. very nostalgic. So I didn't feel the nostalgia of the Barbie movie, Fair. which is why I didn't give it a higher rating. If I was into the nostalgia of Barbie, mm-hmm. I definitely I could see why some people would say it's an amazing movie. Fair. You know, what did you rate it? I would rate it an eight. Mm. Nine. nine. I want to say an eight point, like eight point eight. You did like, cry a couple times. I did cry you a couple cry. times. Like, I mean, we'll get into it a little bit later. But honestly, I loved it. I thought, well, me personally, I played with Barbies, but it was only because Girl, my sister. I'm, I'm sure you did. Shut. Really? Like gay what? What? Really? Do you want to say that for a lot of for the for the gays in the back? It's a fucking gay. It's a homosexual. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, so it just was like one of those things where. I played with it. My sister would abuse those Barbies wretchedly. Oh my I gosh. I could see your sister doing that. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not funny, but Homegirl would literally strap a little, like, a rope behind, like, on their arms and their fa- on their head and put on the fan and let it swing. I remember I was like, no, that's my... I, that's mine. <laughs> I said, girl, Sydney, get back here. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> but no, I was so... It was nostalgic because I would always like play with their hair, braid it, and okay, do all okay. that gay shit. I loved it so much. Okay. So like, and also the fact that they added like a thick Barbie, okay. I was like, we gotta talk about that, by the way. Okay. Well, I loved that they added like a big girl Barbie because so I was like, hey, that's just telling me like that's telling me like even like bigger girls are I perfection. That. I feel that. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about the Barbie movie and like discussion about the Barbie movie. Okay. And one of the, the discussions have been about the lack of representation for plus size Barbies, right? And I, and I hear that point. I'm not here to argue either point, but I can also see if they're trying to make like an accurate Barbie movie, not once have I recalled like an actual Barbie doll being Big plus thing. size, yes. you know? But I also understand like in the time that we live in that you need to show that representation, especially for a movie that's going to touch a huge portion of the population. Outside of like what's already presented. Yes. Cause yes. especially- like, I was even, glad they had a plus size Barbie. I was too. I agree with you like in terms of like, is it quite accurate? Cause I've, I've only right. seen like mm-hmm. fat Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah. I've never seen like a fat Barbie doll. Yes. Like I've never seen it. And like, you know, even though that part sucks, I'm really glad like the movie and the brand itself represented like there are like, even though you there are like, we don't have essentially a thick Barbie or a fat Barbie Mm -hmm. that like we still like see you like you are still beautiful. Yes. I I think the producers did a good job by doing that, even though they knew it wasn't going to be completely accurate. Yes. It was like. Well, and I also think that was the point of the movie, mm-hmm. right? At the end, what did, what kind of Barbie does she say, suggest they should make? Can you make an ordinary... Ordinary Barbie. Barbie, you know, can you make a regular Barbie that's just trying to make it through the day and pay her bills and da 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 Or like one that has like depressive thoughts, like yes. anxiety yes. Mm-hmm. and stuff like that, which I was like, girl, that's kind of... Really that girl, that's really honest. <laughs> girl, stay home, be that Barbie. Girl, I was just like... I honestly was like, that's actually kind of cool. I like mm-hmm. that they stooped to that because like it's kind of saying like Barbie is like what you make of it rather than yeah. it just it's just perfect. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the movie started and they were in their little Barbie world. Oh. And I said if it's if they stay in this Barbie world the whole movie, I will not make it. Bro. I said I will not make the amount I of was... pink I'm seeing is giving me some anxiety right now. <laughs> I was like, y'all need I... to stop. <laughs> I love. Okay. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. And I'm like, like, girl, can y'all get some? What, I don't, what's that one guy? Um, the Asian. Ale- the Asian Ken. The guy from Shang-Chi. The Marvel movie. I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but... Damn. He's hot. Interesting. He is. And he's not even my type, but he's hot. <laughs> Interesting. Uh-huh. But, girl, I love when they were like... <laughs> Hi, Barbie. I'm like, who the fuck, who the fuck Barbie? Yeah. Which, which Barbie? Which Barbie? Which one are they talking to? But they'd be like, hi, Barbie. And they're like, they know. No. Oh, hi, Barbie. Like, this. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I love how she wake up. Literally, it's just like, when I wake up. I'm like, girl, I, if I woke up like that every morning, I'd have a good day. <laughs> okay. So probably the only real critique I could actually give on the movie is with the daughter of the main character. You know, the... 
the one that roasted Barbie in the school. Mm-hmm. And my only beef is that they did not, um, they did not like cultivate her character enough because she was like very like hard, like don't mess with me. I'm I'm a bad bitch. I know way more information than you. Like that was kind of her vibe, mm-hmm. and she switched it very quickly without there being a lot of like conversations and like situations that would cause her to do that you know she kind of just gradually became like the nice pleasant daughter like before our eyes but there was no context to it other than like it was her mom you know her mom was doing all like the inner healing kind of stuff yeah you know like her daughter did the healing without there being context to it Mm -hmm. i i would have liked to see a little bit more like character development with the daughter over all of it being with the mother you know because the first vision that barbie had was about the daughter yes not knowing that was actually about the mother Mm -hmm. so it would have been nice if they went a little bit deeper into that because obviously the daughter has had her own struggles being with um it doesn't doesn't look like the dad was like very like yeah tell me why the dad was like so he just was they there. They could have gone without the dad, honestly. Honestly, but okay. Let's talk about Alan. I love how he, he's like. Bro, Alan, Alan was actually kind of cool. Alan is literally badass. This person was beating I kind of want to buy an Alan doll. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Why are you built like Alan? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> he's just kind of there. <laughs> Excuse you. It's Girl. the way I told us that we need to not talk so loud into the mic, and every time I look at this at the computer screen, I'm like, dang, we literally screaming out here. <laughs> you're, it's so funny because literally you built like Alan is just like, hi Ken and Alan. Okay. okay, so overall the Barbie movie, I thought, shh, quiet. I'm giving my like real real review now. I think overall the Barbie movie gave a great message because like the. Barbie's thought that we are like the picture of what a woman is, you know, and we can do anything, which don't get me wrong, it's not a bad message, but like there was also hurt behind the scenes that they couldn't see. I thought it was like a great message of like, yes, you can do all these things, but remember like the people that you encounter aren't perfect, you know, Mm -hmm. like these Barbies thought they were perfect, but they're finding out like, no, we have like individuality. You know, I thought it was, I, I thought it was a great message. I loved when she like, I even cried when she was just like, even though I'm not a woman and mm-hmm. it's like, I love that they were just like what women have to face on a day to day basis. Like mm-hmm. what they go through when they feel yeah. ugly, sad, yeah. like that, you know, like we, that mm-hmm. we are imperfect and you know, we are human yep. and I just loved ev- like that entire speech and I cried cause I was like, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a woman, but there are some days where I feel gross. So some days I just don't feel valid enough and I just yeah. don't feel, you know, like, and it's like, it's not even your fault. It's just like, it's a personal thing. It's like, you just don't feel valid or you just feel alone sometimes. Well, you know, when they were in that crazy Barbie's house and the mom was giving like her, like she started like talking, like yes. her speech, like just clip that out of the movie. And that is the best segment of the movie because that's like speaking for every woman. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I women love... and, and, and everybody, everybody, but specifically women. Specifically, exactly, yeah. especially. I just love how, like, I don't know. I just love. I just love the message like it did bring. Mm-hmm. There are parts of it that I was like, and especially in the beginning, I like. I even had the same thought to you, where I was like, it's like if this, if this is the entirety of the movie, I might just absolutely just snuggle out of yeah. here. Yeah. But I was like, every person I talked to, like that told me it was like about it. They're like, has a great message. Yeah. All these things. I'm that just, is like, true. I didn't hear anything like it was a bad message. No, I was just like, I've always been told like it was a good message. So I was like, okay, if this is the the good message, I'm kind of scared of what we're looking for. <laughs> to be fair. Had the popcorn been better, I would have rated it like a 7.5. But the popcorn gave me such a stale taste <laughs> in my mouth, I could not give the movie a better rating. Your farts also smell like popcorn Thank after. You. You're welcome. But also, like, okay, I know let's talk about like Ken's. Mm hmm. Ken, though, Ryan Gosling. Ooh, girl child. Okay, to be <laughs> fair, though, I think they should have made, um, I think they should have made the guy from Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man, the main Ken. Ooh, yes. And they should have made Taylor Swift the Barbie. I agree. We talked about that. We were like, Taylor Swift. But 
Yeah. They wasn't going to get them, yeah, but still, that would have been, been, been good. So that is our honest review of the Barbie movie. We liked it. We, we need to it. we need to start going to more movies so we can do honest reviews. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Thanks for joining the Izzy Show. Thank you guys. Did I say Izzy Show? You did say. <laughs> Thanks for joining the Zizzy, Zizzy Show. show. Oh my gosh, Make sure to hit that bell that icon, button. subscribe, like, and share, besties. Yes. Um, yes. So stick around. Bye. Bye.